Hey guys, in this After Effects tutorial I'll show you how to create a bold type animation and use jump cuts. It's jumping from one point in the animation to another while cutting out the middle part. There's two things you need to take care of. Consistent elements on the one side and at least one contrasting element on the other side. A consistent element could be the direction of movement or a strict rhythm which determines your timing. Size could be a contrasting element. Now let's get right into it. We create a new comp, 3 seconds long. I use 50 frames per second instead of 25 to have twice as much space for keyframes than usual. First, we add a background solid, which is black. Next step is to time the cuts or jumps. Therefore, we add markers on the timeline. After 4 frames, then after 12, 20, 28. So we start with a fast cut, then slow down. At 32 pixels, we speed up again and set a marker at 36 pixels. Then we get really fast and cut at 38 pixels, then 40 pixels. We slow down again and set the next marker at 44 pixels, then 48 pixels. So the buildup for the type to be revealed will be roughly one second long. Alright, let's create the first scene. We take the path tool and create an arrow that points upwards. Disable the fill and set the stroke width to 4 pixels and name it arrow. Our consistent direction of movement throughout the whole animation will be upwards. Let's cut the layer at 4 pixels and set the position keyframes at 0 and 3 pixels and move the Y position from 540 to 467 pixels. Then we open the graph editor and adjust the curve to let the move start slow. After that, we double click on the rectangle tool and change the size of the shape to 900 by 500 pixels. The fill is white, no stroke. We trim the layer. Then we use the type tool and type this. Change the font to Helvetica Bold, set the size to 500 pixels and the tracking to 40. The color is black. Then we position the type on the white rectangle and trim the layer. Now we animate the Y position of the white rectangle and move the shape up from 540 to around 316 pixels. Again, we want to start slow and adjust the curve in the graph editor. Great! That's our second scene. After one bold shape, we want many small elements. Remember contrast. Therefore, we create a new comp 200 pixels high and wide and call it pre is a. Then we type the word is, set the color to white and the size to 50 pixels and place it left of the middle. Then we duplicate the layer and replace is with an A and place it at the right of the middle. Let's change the comp length to 8 pixels first. Then we set two keyframes and move the A upwards. and add easy ease in. Then we add it to the main comp. Add CC Reptile. Place the pre-comp in the upper left corner and expand the effect to the right and down. Awesome! As you can see, we have consistent upwards movement and a high contrast between big and small and thin and bold elements. Exactly what we want. Now scene 4. We reuse the arrow from the beginning, duplicate the layer and place it in the timeline. Then we increase the scale of the path until it's wider than the comp. We 
we place it in the lower half of the comp, activate the fill and disable the stroke. Then we animate the Y position from 540 pixels to minus 620 pixels. After that, we create a new white solid, move it down and turn it to the arrow and trim the layer. Now we open the speed graph and once again start slow. Awesome! Let's copy the arrow again and use it for the next scene. We place it below the middle point of the scene and copy it again. Set the rotation to 180 degrees and place it above the first arrow. Now we animate the position of the lower arrow and move it up. And adjust the curve to get a slow start. Let's have a look at what we've done so far. Beautiful. Next scene. Let's create a square 300 pixels tall. Trim the layer Let's reduce the size to 200 pixels and name it white square And move it up from 560 to 316 pixels and let it start slow. Now we add a black T and trim the layer and set the size to 250 pixels. Place it in the middle of the square at the beginning of the scene. Alright, next very fast scene. We add type. Trim the layer. Set the size to 100 pixels and place it right in the middle. That's it for this scene. Looks great. For the next scene, we once again copy the arrow, position it slightly higher above the type from the scene before, and trim it. Awesome. Next we copy the type layer and reuse it. Like everything. Now we go bold again and change the size to 500 pixels. And place it on the right side of the screen. Then we add animate position. And change the position in the animator to 456 pixels. Then we set the end value to 90 and set keyframes at the beginning of the scene. After 4 frames we set the end value to 27. Add easy ease in 
and adjust the curve for a slow start. Now we duplicate the layer and place it below the other one. Then duplicate it one more time and place it above. Let's have a look. Seems a bit too fast, so let's drag the end keyframes one frame to the right. Much better. For the next scene, we again copy the arrow from the beginning, place it in the comp and extend the layer a bit to 1 second and 6 frames. The arrow starts to move up at 44 frames and is out of the screen at 1 second and 6 frames. Let's see. Now let's add the text, which is finally revealed. This is a type animation. Size 100 pixels, tracking 40. And place it below the arrow. And place the layer below the arrow layer. Now, let's create a rectangle by double-clicking on the Rectangle tool and reduce the size so that it aligns with the width of the type. Let's place the path below the type and set a keyframe. After 4 frames, the bottom of the triangle moves up. And at 1 second and 6 frames, the shape morphs into a thin line. We add easy ease in and adjust the curve for a slow start. Don't forget to trim the layer. Let's adjust the curve a bit more and slow the animation down at the end. Awesome! Now we want the type to be revealed. And add animate position. In the range selector, we change the Y position to 120 and base it on words. Then we set a keyframe for the start and end value. After 1 second and 24 frames, we set the start value to 100%. Add easy ease in and adjust the curve a bit more to give it a slow start and a smooth end. Now we need a mask that hides the type. Therefore we create another rectangle shape. And move it down so that the top aligns with the thin white line. We move the layer down, the hierarchy, above the text and trim it. And name it mask. Then we select Luma inverted mask. One last thing we'll do now is split the layer at 1 second and 8 frames and change the animator from based on words to based on characters. We set the start value to 47% so that type animation remains invisible at that point. Great! Let's make the ending a bit smoother and adjust the curve a little. We don't need these keyframes anymore. 
That's it for this tutorial guys, a type animation with jump cuts. Thanks so much for watching, hope that was helpful. If you have any kind of questions, let me know in the comments below. Please give it a thumbs up, subscribe and hit that notification bell and you all know that sharing is caring. I'd love to know how that tutorial inspired your work. Add the link in the comments below or tag me on Instagram. See you all next time, bye!